Alright, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of James from Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabara, and Down. Right, salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Right, we are um, GMS, this is the brother from Kabash from the GMS Jamaica camp. Right, pu we're, we're pushing out these um, these prophecies hard. You now, the, the, the spirit, the spirit of the Lord right now, is pushing the prophecy of the RFID microchip. If you notice, a lot of brothers, you know, the elders, the apostles, you know, pushing videos on the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Right, because the Lord is about to um to fully Im fully um implement this prophecy, yo, right? This and right now, as a lot of Akim saying, a lot of apostles saying, right, right now is when you know. But right now is is proving that we have always been the true prophets of Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai. Because uh, aside from the apostles, you know we've been we've been prophesying about the, uh, the RFID microchip from before the elders came in on YouTube from 2007. You know myself since I came in this true 2010, we've been t teaching about the RFID microchip. You know, and even when people laughed and scoffed, you know, and say, hey. They, 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 there's ain't no thing as no microchip, you know, like for example, um, Nate, you know, that very famous video that we have of Nate, you know, it's June, ain't no microchip, but guess what, you know, the Lord, the Lord is revealing these prophecies, yo, and the Lord is, is, is basically vindicating um, his true prophets, you know, which have been speaking this word, you know, non-stop, you know, e even in the face of incredulity, right, and disbelief, we have been teaching the truth, yo, so, the big, the big um, news right now is um, about the Wisconsin company in America that's about to microchip their employees, right? And this is an article from CBS News, right? And this is a pastor, get you, a, a Christian pastor, right? That's saying that microchipping humans is straight out of revelation, right? So even these pastors, yo, are, 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 are understanding that, yo, this RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. You have even some Edomites. That are out there pushing that the RFID chip is the mark is the mark of the beast, right? You have um, you have other other you have even atheists, you know, that don't believe in the Bible, saying that is this the mark of the beast that is spoken of in Revelation? Because the, the Lord, the Lord is uh, is pouring out his prophecies on this earth, yo. See, so let's just get into it. All right, this was posted yesterday. It says it's been making big headlines. The first American workers are getting injected with microchips right and and here's a, here's a big point it's been making headlines yo all across the news channels you you, you you um you're seeing this thing pop up if you go on youtube and you're typing microchip or rfid microchip you, you see this um this news bulletin you see you know tons hundreds of videos mostly from gms members you know talking about the rfid chip being the micro the rfid chip being the mic mark of the beast right it says the Wisconsin company that's doing it says it's the future and that's all about convenience. But the idea is sparking oppositions from religious and secular circles from the biblical end time concerns to privacy rights. Pastor Dave Doyle from Hope Christian Fellowship Church in Iowa says the microchip makes him think about the mark of the beast from Revelation 13 according to KCRG in Cedar Rapids. Exactly. It's the spirit of the Lord that, that, that's making him think about the mark of the beast, yo. Right? It's the spirit of the Lord that's revealing you know, to, to the world that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast so that the people that take it are without excuse, yo. Because we've been pushing this for years, yo. We've been pushing this for over a decade that the RFID microchip technology is the mark of the beast. So you are without excuse if you say it, yo. Because even Christian pastors pushing it, yo, yo. Right? We've been doing our job. Even in the face of our people of disbelief, of mocking, of scornings, we've been pushing that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. And here we have it right now, coming out in the news, coming out in the mainstream media, you know, pastors, you know, speaking on it. I take microchipping as a form of the mark. There's many pieces of the mark, and then again, all these pieces of the mark is designed to control. And that's exactly what the RFID chip is, is designed to do. Total control and surveillance, yo. Doyle is referring to the new story about a company called Three Squares Market that is giving their employees the option to get a microchip implanted in their hand. Employees can use these chips to enter the work building, log into a computer, or to buy things from the company vending machine. Right? That, hey, this, this, this is another cut for Nate, yo. 
saying that what's, what's a microchip got to do with buying or selling, yo? Right? When he, when he mocked us a couple of years ago saying that the microchip is used to, to, to find your pets. But where's my dog? Where's my dog? Here say right here. Employees can use this chip to enter their work building, log into a computer, or to buy things from the company vending machines. And that's, on, that's just on a small scale, yo. When this thing is implemented on a large scale, right, you're going to use it for all financial transactions, yo. You're going to use it for, it's it going to be ubiquitous, yo. Meaning it's going to pervade all areas of your life. Your healthcare, your biometrics, your, your financial data, everything. Right? But Pastor Doyle thinks this type of technology could eventually use, be used by governments to abuse people's rights. He believes the chips are something that will one day be forced upon people. Exactly. And that's what the Spirit says, yo. That's what, um, that's what Revelation 13 verse 16 goes into. Right? So, you know, I'll post the article, you know, in the, in the, in the description for the brothers to read the entire article if they want to. You know, but we've gotten the gist of it. Let's just bring out the scriptures once again for um for edification's sake. You know, I'm going to go to Second Ezra 15 and verse one first. Behold, speak though in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, will I will which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And what's the, what's the words of prophecy? That the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. How many times we've been saying it, right? That the, the those who take the RFID microchip will be destroyed. Right? And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Like 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 IUIC, you know, and all the breast of scoffers that say that the RFID chip is not technology is not the mark of the beast, that's saying that the embargo is the mark of the beast, that's saying that Christianity is the mark of the beast, that's saying that philosophy is the mark of the beast. Those men, right, that speak against thee, if scripture says fear not them, yo. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? So all, all you um you Israelite camps, right, that don't teach that the RFID chip is the mark is the mark of the beast. If you don't repent, the law gonna destroy you. The scriptures say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, yo. Right? Let's get the next scripture. This is Habakkuk chapter two and verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am approved. Exactly. We're, we're, watching, we're watching the news for the unfolding of the prophecies of Yahweh while Yahweh shy. That's what, that's what it means by I will stand upon my watch. These are the Israelite camps are not doing that, yo. They're not pushing the prophecies. All they're pushing is this bullshit about, uh, about, um, about rebuilding the Israelite nation in this society, yo. Right? None of it is pushing these prophecies, yo. Not knowing that the goodness of the Lord will not come in this time, yo. This is not the time to rebuild Israel, yo. This is the time to wake up the elect, to push the prophecies, right? And to hope for the kingdom, yo. The good will not come unless this world is destroyed, yo. And the Lord answered me, saying, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables that you may run that with it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right? And it's speaking right now. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. It's being clearly shown right now for those who have eyes to see. Right? It's all over the mainstream media, yo. So let's just get that prophecy to close it off. This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name right so again just to recap you know we're talking about this this, this rfid microchip technology being the mark of the beast right we have a cbs article with a pastor saying that microchipping humans is straight out of revelation right so with that akim we're, we're, we're this much closer yo right we're almost out of here Keep pushing the word, keep pushing the prophecies, keep praying to the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, to keep, to keep you in this truth, yo. To keep you on fire for this truth, right? Because the Lord is about to make a swift um, conclusion of this wicked kingdom, yo. Right? So again, we say our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this knowledge. Double honors to our apostles who work tirelessly, you know, feeding us with this truth and salutations to the Akim out there pushing this word in sincerity. Shalom.